What's going on world, it's Dana Harris again, and I am single-handedly trying to make math cool again. I've got some more math jewels for you, and we are continuing to talk about a series on third grade fractions, okay? This is the third part to a three-part series, or the third part to a three-part series. So, in this particular video, we want to, I want to speak directly to the third graders or, or the students. I don't want to speak to the parents. So, parents, if you're watching, please make sure your kid is watching too. So, what we want to do is we want to talk about how to show equivalent fractions on a number line. Okay? So, we're going to draw our number line. And when they represent numbers on a number line in third grade math, all of the number lines are only gonna go from zero to one, okay? Because this represents one whole, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of things today. So let's start from two pieces. We're gonna keep this in black. We're gonna separate this number line into two pieces. So notice I have one, so this would be one half here, and this would be one half here, okay? So if I have two pieces, then halfway between from here to here would be one half, okay? So I'm gonna erase this one. I just wanted you all to see that that would be one half, okay? So now I have zero, one half, one. Well, let's, to show equivalence, let's say we wanna take this uh, particular number line, and I'm going to take half of this number line, and I want to break it into two pieces, okay? So, let's say here, wham, all right? So I have one, two, and then I'm going to take this half and break it into two pieces as well. So we have a total of one, two, three, four pieces now, okay? I didn't change the, the original two pieces that I had. I have four pieces now. So within the first half, I have, so now I have one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, and four out of four, okay? So once again, we said in the previous video that Anytime you have the same numerator and denominator, it represents one, so they have the same value, okay? I have two out of four, and it has the same value as one out of two, so those two are equivalent, okay? And one thing I can put just that I didn't put there is this also represents two out of two, so this is two out of two one-half pieces, okay? So I just wanted to throw that sidebar in there real quick. I'll take that for the sake of, sake of space. So now, let's say we have, so we, we broke it down into four pieces. Now we're going to break it down some more. So let's go with some green. And let's say we want to take each of these one-fourth pieces, and we want to break them down into two more pieces. So here, okay, so I take this one-fourth, and I want to break it into two pieces, so I have a total of one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total pieces, okay? So this is one eighth, we'll go, we can go to the bottom again. So this is one eighth. Actually, no, I'm sorry, let's go to the top. I want you to see that. So let's go one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four-eighths, five-eighths, six-eighths, seven-eighths, and eight-eighths. So now we have a few different equivalent fractions now, okay? So over here we have one-eighth, which it's not equivalent to anything just yet. We have two-eighths, which has the same value as one-fourth. So those two fractions are equivalent. We have three-eighths, or three-eighths, and that is in a league of its own. We have four-eighths, two-fourths, and one-half. All three of those fractions have the same value, so they look different, but they have the same value. I have five-eighths. Then I have six-eighths is equivalent to 
three fourths or three fourths. Okay, so those two fractions have the same value. Seven eighths, and then I have eight eighths, four fourths, and two halves, which is also equal to one. Okay, so you can begin to see the equivalence in these fractions now. Now we can break this down into I could take it and break each of these sections into one more. Let's let's why not? Man, we got time. Let's do it. Okay. So if I take each one eighth piece and I break it down into two more, then I'm going to have Okay, so now these are gonna they're gonna be very small, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces. So this is 1 16th, 2 16th, 3 16th, 4 16th, 5 16th, 6 16th, 7 16th, 8 16th, 9 16th, 10 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, 15 sixteenths, and 16 sixteenths or one whole. So now you can see that I'll go through and you can see several different equivalent fractions. So here I have Two sixteenths and one eighths have the same value. Four sixteenths, two eighths, and one fourth have the same value. Three eighths and six sixteenths have the same value. Those three fractions, eight sixteenths, four eighths, two fourths, and one half, all have the same value. Ten sixteenths and five, five eighths. Twelve sixteenths. Six eighths and three fourths all have the same value. Fourteen sixteenths and seven eighths have the same value. And then here I have sixteen sixteenths, eight eighths, four fourths, two halves. They all equal one. So those are equivalent fractions on a number line. Okay. Now we can also take this in extension a, a, a little further. And and for example, I might ask you, okay. I might say, well, what is the distance from here to here, okay? And there's several ways I can do this, but I'm going to go with the smallest number of pieces. So I have 1 16th, 1 16th, 1 16th, 1 16th, 1 16th. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces or six parts, and each is one sixteenth. Okay, so that tells me that the distance from here to one half, for the distance from two sixteenths to one half, or from one eighth to one half, is six sixteenths, and we can find an equivalent version of that or an equivalent value of that by looking up here. Six sixteenths, that's the same thing as three eighths. So it's the same thing. People talk different from different places. Potato, potato. Okay. Tomato, tomato. Some people say car. Some people say ka. Things like that. So it's kind of like different dialects from different places. But this is the way that you can find equivalent fractions on a number line. It's the young math guru. I'm trying to make math cool again. Young Guru's Math Tutor, we got the solution to your math problems.